Okay, so um, I think it's time for a little update about what's going on with my uh, Gibson Les Paul standard. Um, as I said in a previous video, um, the string action and uh, the neck and everything wasn't very good, so I got it fixed now. Uh, I made most of the things by myself. Uh, so now it's a really decent guitar now, it's very good to play at and Les Paul Standards is supposed to be a very good guitar. I mean, 2000 bucks, I mean, come on, of course it's a good guitar. Uh, so, maybe it's time to have a little look here and see, um, I can talk a little bit about what I did and so on, so. Let's see here. Yeah, so this is the guitar here. Gibson Les Paul standard. Well, first of all, um, I had some issues with uh, uh, fret bus as well and most of the fret bus was because um, the neck was not very tightened up so it was like a very a very high bow on the neck so the first thing I did was that I uh, removed the truss roll cover here and uh, I tightened up the neck a little bit and uh, just uh, well, I don't know, but uh, just a little bit, yeah. And um, what I did next was that I uh, played a little bit on it and it was still very high string action. So uh, I tightened up the truss rod a little more. And uh, when I thought it was very good, it wasn't very good. So. What I did after that was I made some adjustments on the bridge here um, because the neck was pretty much straightened up as I think it should be on a Les Paul. So I lowered the bridge here uh, until I had the exactly action as I want to have um, Well, w when it comes to my style of play of playing i want very low string action so it's a little bit fret bus now but i think it's okay because i think les pauls should have a little bit of fret bus I, I don't know why but that's my opinion about it so and on these bridges here you have the um, uh, a little screw there that is locking uh, so you have to screw that up here because or else it will not be able to adjust the bridge here so that's something you have to think about when doing this and uh, also you have to be careful because the height here uh, you will not like you will you will not have to um, you, you know the angle here the string cannot touch the bridge here because that is not very good so and uh, also if the angle here is too high uh, or too much the string will break well maybe not this string but um, the thinner strings here so I think this is pretty good I think it looks very very good so even though the string holder is kind of high but well that's the way it has to be so I think I can live with that and uh, also the frets are very good uh, the first time I played this guitar I didn't think it was a really good guitar because it didn't feel very good to play on but uh, 
Now when it's uh, adjusted and it all seems to be very good, I like this guitar very much and I think it's probably the best guitar I ever owned or maybe ever played on so yeah. And the pickups here, as I mentioned in the previous video, they are splittable and you can do almost whatever you want to do. I find this, those pickups, I don't like the humbucker mode. I, I don't know why, but uh, I like it more when the, they are splitted to similar to P90s, I think. Like a mini humbucker. So I'm not sure, but maybe I maybe I will have to change the pickups on this guitar in the future. Well, not now, but maybe in the future. Time will tell. And also, what I like about this guitar is that uh, the neck is very, very thin. I think it's uh, 60s profile, so. It's not like it's not not like um, um, a fifties profile that is very much uh, uh, bigger and fatter. So I like the neck; it's very fast playing. Something I don't like is that I find it very hard on well most all Les Pauls to reach uh, those frets here because there is too much wood here. It's too much wood here. It's very hard to reach the frets. Um, I know all Gibson and Epiphone looks like this because I have had several Epiphone Les Pauls and uh, well, I think uh, 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 maybe I can learn to live with that. Um, I don't play the high frets very often anyway so yeah well that's pretty much it and uh, as I said before uh, this guitar have locking tuners very very good yeah and um, I also like uh, the new nut here it's supposed to be uh, a newer version uh, I don't know if it's plastic or well, it's, I don't think it's bone, but uh, maybe some kind of plastic there. Um, so, yeah, I like this guitar very much. And as I said, it's very good to play in now. Uh, it plays very well. So, I haven't been playing very much on it because I have not had any time. But uh, there will be more time now, so... Um, I will try to make some music so yeah um, that's it for now about this guitar um, I will be back very soon with a new video so until then bye